Hello and welcome to Top 10 Features of ADS 2023. In this video series, we are talking about all the latest enhancements in ADS. And in this video, we will focus on S Parameter Toolkit enhancements. There are a lot of exciting features in S Parameter Toolkit, which might be applicable for a wide variety of applications. So stay tuned till the end of this video to go over some of these exciting enhancements as well as to get a holistic overview of what this utility can do so that you can use it for your own specific application. To start with, let me show you the problem statement. Here I do have a 24 port S parameter file on which I'm performing an S parameter simulation. Now after this S parameter simulation, you can do characterization by plotting the graphs and depending upon how many ports you are dealing with, the data could be really, um, you know, mind boggling. And you need to figure out all these relevant parameter terms, which you need to plot. And in many cases, you need to write a lot of post-processing equations to calculate some of these specification, which a particular standard is looking for, such as IS, ICN, ICR, and so on. So let me show you how easy it is now to perform all those kind of calculation with this parameter toolkit. Now to use this parameter toolkit, obviously you can first place an S parameter block on your schematic, and then you can approach the toolkit. Or if you have a data set or a touchstone file or a city file, which is available, you can directly use this parameter toolkit by enabling this toolbar by simply right clicking and selecting HST. Now, once you do that, you have an S parameter toolkit plot. And now you can browse to the folder wherever your files are kept. And you can read wide variety of files into this utility to perform all these measurements. In my case, I already have a 24 port S parameter file. And now I can click on check view S parameter, which will load this data into the utility, which we call as S parameter toolkit. Now, plenty of interesting things here you could do. For example, here you already have a S parameter matrix and you can, you know, make those selections by simply clicking on one of these buttons. For example, by clicking on diagonal, I can see on the written loss in one shot. By selecting up a triangle, I can plot all those S parameter terms which are above diagonal. And by selecting lower triangle, I can plot all the S parameter terms which are below diagonal. So very quick way of plotting and visualizing your data, even for a general S parameter, um, you know, data which you have available. Along with this, you can also do some quality checking. For example, here you can check whether your data is reciprocal or not. And with this color coding, anything which is green means you have a reciprocal data or reciprocal term. Anything which is yellow is almost reciprocal, but not entirely a reciprocal. If you have a lot of difference, the corresponding block will be colored red. Similarly, you can do passivity calculation and note whether your data is passive or not. And also you could do causality checking. So once you have so you are in this tab, you can simply start calculation. And depending upon the complexity and the ports um, which you have in your data, it will take certain time and eventually show you the same way of the color coding as you saw in a reciprocal manner. So similar color coding will be available and the corresponding plots will be shown to you. Another interesting thing you could do is to look at all these common measurements, which we often do, such as insertion loss, crosstalk, return loss, and so on. So the first thing we need to do, obviously, is make a throughput assignment by which ADL will remember what are your desired throughputs, and then accordingly, it will do the crosstalk calculations. To start with, we can select the desired number of port or any selective ports where you want to do those measurements or simply move all of it uh, to make an assignment. So here I moved all, click on next, and now you can choose the input side and the output side. There are various options available, including custom where you can pick the pin number and you can make your own mapping. For this data, I'm uh, you know, already aware that that's the configuration we used to uh, create this as parameter file either during measurement or during simulation in ADS or any other tool. Once I make this assignment, simply click finish. And now you have all the throughput assignment, which is done here. Now, once you select any of those term, now all the plot options are available and you can pick and choose to plot anything you want. 
even if you have multiple data to plot simply select all of them and click on insertion law so that you can see all of these data together by a simple click instead of plotting different graphs in the data display window it's pretty cool right okay along with this you can also do next calculation in here by selecting on one particular term you can select next and treat it as a victim so that you can see corresponding s parameter terms getting picked up or if you choose a uh, port number one to be aggressor, you can see some other S parameter terms getting picked up. You can also do power sum next uh, to, in, in a victim mode or in aggression mode. Similarly, you can do far end crosstalk. Now, starting with 2023 release, you have these three brand new measurements, which is again very useful uh, for many application. Here I can do power sum crosstalk and choose it to be a victim, either on one single port, or you can select all of them and do the you know, power some crosstalk calculation. Similarly, you can also do ICR, which is insertion loss to crosstalk ratio measurements very, very easily. Now, also another interesting thing you can do in ADS 2023, when you select a pool, you can now also calculate ICN, which is integrated crosstalk noise. Provide the relevant specification as per the standard or data rate you are working with. Click on calculate, and now you have ICN shown to you right away. No need to write any post-processing equation, which can be really complex depending upon what you're trying to do. So all this data is available on your fingertips. Now, along with single-ended mode, we also have differential mode where you can make a differential port assignment. And again, by selecting assign differential port option, you have all the ports available. Simply select a couple of them and make a differential pair. So this way you can keep on making uh, the differential port as necessary. But many a times we have a very high number of port count of S parameter file, but we want to concentrate our measurements on few selected ports. Like in this case, I will make only two differential pair instead of six, which I could have made. Now, once I make those pairs, we can see those ports appearing here. And now once we calculate differential data, you will see the matrix getting generated which is all a mixed mode matrix. Now using these terms, you can either select the terms in the matrix uh, to be shown uh, the relevant data to you, or you can again select one of the ports and then choose the plot mode like we just did in the single-ended mode. So pretty cool and very, very simple to do, whether you're dealing with single-ended or differential data. Now, since we already made the pair of single-ended and differential, we can even perform TDR and TDT. Here you can select the mode and accordingly you can see the matrix will change like in single-ended. And then you can specify the, um, the criteria for your TDR calculation, selecting the right mode. And once you do start calculation, it will calculate single-ended TDR and TDT for all of these as parameter terms, for example. Once the calculation finishes, if I click on diagonal, you can see all diagonal you know, terms selected. And now you have a TDR plot on, on your fingertips, as easy as it gets. Similarly, I can go to differential mode, I can start calculation. And now I can pick and choose uh, the diagonal mode or a specific you know, differential term and look at differential TDR or differential TDT as may be necessary example here I can select the transmission term to see TDT and here is your TDR pretty cool all right so last thing I would like to show let me go back to loaded data mode and many a times you have certain limit lines for which your your channel needs to adhere to or meet the criteria so in those cases what can you do so let me pick few of these transmission you know terms and now this limit line could be for transmission for return loss or crosstalk anything so you can rel pick and choose a relevant disk parameter term right click and now you can configure a limit line in magnitude as well as phase plot in magnitude plot you can add as many limits as you want for example i can give it a name x and you can keep adding as many limits you want Define it to be higher side limit or a lower side limit. Do it, uh, apply that limit an entire frequency band, or you can you know, create your own sub band. For example, here, I will create two bands from DC to 10 gigahertz, and then from 10 gigahertz to 20 gigahertz. Now, once you have those bands defined, you can select one of those bands and apply the limit shape and the limit value. Here, for the first band, I would like to do a linear slope from zero to minus two dB. 
and for the second i would do a linear linear slope from minus 2 db to minus 6 db once you do it simply click on apply and now you can see the limit line appearing on the graph and the red mark here shows you the violation or the section which is not meeting the limit line if you do not want to see violation simply uncheck and apply again now you only see the trace and the limit line now once you create these complex limit line you can save them uh, anywhere on your hard disk and next time you want to use it simply load that limit line for example here i do have a limit line which i saved earlier i can open it and apply and now you can see the limit line along with your graph so pretty useful now all the assignments like single ended or differential which you have done here and you do not want to do it again simply save this as parameter toolkit and now this particular state is saved next time you open it up from your schematic and check view again all those assignments will already be there for you and you can directly start doing the measurements as you need even if your as parameter file has changed so pretty cool right all right so that's all for this video i hope uh, you found some of these recent enhancements to be very exciting and useful for your work so thanks for watching and wish you all the best in your design work